Boston, Seattle at T-Mobile Park. Let's see how they do, baby. Seem to be too I say Frache. Oh, he walked her. Walk of the game for her and walked she her. The leadoff walk in the top of the seven. You can't be doing that. Look at this man's hair, bro. Harry the dog. The dog. This man's a K king. The runner's going. Save. Swipes a bag off to the walk. Ooh. The heat. At the belt and fires. Ooh, another fastball strikeout. They can't handle it. Dave Ritchie, what you, you got a hole in your back? 36,000 in attendance. Here in Seattle, watching them still not score any runs because their bats suck. There's no difference. No difference in Major League Baseball or the GGBL. Okay, though, that's a big strikeout. Got to give yourself your offense a chance. You got to hold them. Let it fly, big fella. Let it let it fly. Okay. And he swings at that. All right, that was a master class inning right there. Oh! Uh-oh, Ricky Bobby again. I got away from you. A one-out walk, so there's a base runner on for the Mariners. One swing of the bat. The pitch out doesn't even matter. Dixon Cox swipes the bag with ease. Oh! Driven deep out to left! It's a one hopper to the wall that's going to drive in one. And the Mariners are on the board here late with another runner in scoring position. By Cheeks comes up big. Crushes it. Oppo Taco right over the left fielder's head. To the plate. Inside, he got him. He got him swinging. He couldn't hold up the sinker. Down it in, and Blue Knight is hyped. What a pitch comes in. <laughs> got him swinging. I don't know if he can see. Like I'm pretty sure he just can't see. He's just swinging aimlessly. Strikes out the first batter he faces. Blake Johnson, already two for three. He's got one of the greatest batting stances of all time. Looking for his third hit. Diving to the shortstop. Got him. Not enough speed. Damn. The slutty slurve does it. Q, great inning. One, two, three, and the Mariners down by one, headed into the bottom of the ninth. Can the Red Sox shut the door? Or can we see some heroics out of our Seattle Mariners in front of their home crowd? Yeah, look, at, look at this guy's legs. Look at the pitcher's legs. Got him with a slider. Takes it to third base, but he bobbles it. Does he have time to get him? Oh, my God. He's so slow. He bobbles it, has plenty of time, and still throws him out by about five steps. Ortiz throws the 99 mile an hour smoke for the first save of the year, and he gets him just looking. Doesn't get the bat off his shoulder, and Boston wins a tight one, two to one. Ricky Bobby. Pitched a gem. Pitched an absolute gem. Goes seven and two thirds, four hits, eight Ks, couple walks. Only allowed the one earned run. And Seattle only had four hits for the game. Boost Knuckle picks up the loss. And Zion Ortiz with his first GGBL save. Blake Johnson was two for four for the uh, for the Red Sox. Adrian Feliz, Justin YNWA, Millimeter Peter all had doubles. Ricky Bobby with a 1.17 ERA and 8Ks after his first outing. Dang. Not a lot of offense in this one. A lot of good pitching. A lot of good pitching between those two teams. So game one of day two, sort of, of opening day, 329. So we had the massive opening day, day two, Montreal, 9-1 finish over Toronto. They're just establishing themselves as the best Canadian baseball team. 
the 9-1 finish. Uh, Bobo, Pearson, one for four, then RBI, man. That was really, ugh, oof. Dude, they're Jays struggling to start this year. Whitey Boof. Oh, 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 no. 0.1 innings, three hits, five earned runs, two walks, and a strikeout. 135 ERA to start off the year. That is tough. Really tough. The Expos. Cole Caulfield, three for four with three RBIs. Two for four for Frandi Rojas. I don't think we saw that person play last time. Couple home runs. Isamia Mario and Shane Hades both went yard. A lot of extra base hits. A lot of extra base hits for the Expos. They just turned it on. Look at that. Pepe Gassi goes six innings, four hits, one earned. And Gamer Dude gets the save. Pitches three innings. Gives up only two hits, three walks, a couple Ks. And the Expos roll in game two. So I think I should be able to hit this sim on this game. And then it won't do this one. I think. If it does, it does. But what game are we watching? Are we going to watch Cleveland, Oakland? Sorry, did we decide? Oh, we're doing Seattle, Boston? All right, roger that. All right, then we're going to simulate Oakland, Cleveland. 7-3 Oakland wins again. They start off the season 2-0. They put up three runs in the bottom of the eighth. Let's see. Uh, three different players on the Guardians had two hits apiece. A couple RBIs for Jay Jetpack, who had a home run. But that's about it. Robert Dean Manfred, six innings, seven hits, three earned. Pitched a decent game, but Dakota Traylor. An inning pitch, three hits, four earned. And the Oakland, the Oakland A's take advantage. Let's see. A's were led by October, two for four. Nathan Messler, three for four, three RBIs. And he had a multi-home run game. I think that's the first multi-home run game we've seen, right? Barry Dingle, Nathan Messler, and Tyler Nichols all go yard. October had a triple. Kyle the Yeti goes seven innings, seven hits, three earned. Ten Ks. 10 Ks. Oh, that's right. Ron Donkey had a multi home run game. That's right. That's right. That's right. He did. Damn. Great pitching performance from Kyle the Yeti. And Anthony Taker with the save. Two innings. All right. So we're going to actually, I think we can just, let's just do this. Get this out of the way since we're doing it. 11 9 Pittsburgh beats Miami. So they take a 2 0 series lead. They put up seven in the top of the fourth. Man. Miami's Miami almost came back. Then they gave up three in the top of the eighth again. The pitching just not holding out. Holding out. Clarence Williams, three hits. A couple hits for Bob Babui and Andy Eagle. Three home runs for the Pirates in the win. Clarence Williams with a couple steals. Anita BJ goes five innings, eight hits. A couple earned runs. But the win goes to Akaika, Akaika Smith. Pitched one inning, gave up one run. One run. Andrew Winter gets the second save of the season. Ooh, 15 hits, just not enough for the Marlins. Two for five for Bob's, your uncle. Drove in four. Three RBIs for Balls McTesty. The three home runs. Dang, man. This is just a lot of offense in this game. Griff Johnson, three and two thirds, seven hits, eight earned. Ooh, God. Mayan Yasaur Yasaur gets the loss. Three and two thirds, five hits, three earned. Tommy John's third arm <laughs> came in and pitched. No run baseball. <laughs> oh man, that was a that was a high scoring game. Just twenty eight hits between those two teams. Nine eight Arizona. Uh, they tie the series. Five run with nine total runs in the final in the in the eighth inning. What the hell happened in this game? 31 hits. Glenn Humplick, five for six. Matt Weber, four for five. What the hell? Only one home run, and it was Chicken Little. Little Chicken Little, man. It's only hit of the game. Is that our first five-hit game that we've seen? Cohen had a four-hit game, right? Five and a third, nine hits, four earned runs for Justin Locke. The loss goes to Big John Trouty. Gives up three hits, three earned runs. Didn't get a single out. Damn. That is tough. Three for five for Daniel Dicker down. Chrissy Changeups and Assassin King both went yard. 
A lot, a lot of offense and a lot of poor pitching in this game. <laughs> oh, my God. Jared Hamilton picks up the win. That's crazy. Uh, St. Louis, Los Angeles. 5-2. Dodgers get their second win of the year. They bounce back after dropping the first game to the Cardinals. A couple hits for Ashton Arnold. A lot less hits in this one. Much better pitching. 8Ks for Hank Haas in the loss in six innings. Jimmy the Erickson batting at 375 to start off. Two for four, two RBIs. He's hitting really well. He had a home run. Zaddy Chuck and T Perk both get home runs in this game. They've both been struggling at the plate, but they both get it done. Angel Sandoval, seven innings, four hits, one earned. He pitched a gem. A gem, or her, actually. Could have been a her. I don't know. Lefty bench with a save. Uh, San Diego, San Francisco, 4-2 the final. Six hits for the Giants in the loss. Scored a run in the top of the ninth, but it wasn't enough. Muck Buckham, five innings, eight hits, three earned, eight Ks in the loss. Three for three, Dennis Gordon, the third, plus a home run and a couple RBIs. A couple steals. Sean Soto goes eight innings, only three hits, one earned, a couple walks, six Ks. Pitches lights out. And Roach Killer, third save of the season. I think that's our save leader thus far. We're going to simulate. Oops, stop. A double. Awesome. Awesome. A double. Right off, right off the fucking rip, dude. Get out of it. Get out of it. You get out of it right now. RBI for Big Doinks again. Oh, my God, dude. Defensive substitution? See, Yankees making a substitution already. Struck out the side. Uh-oh. Okay, Coltrane. Hell of an inning. Ground out. Strike out. Okay, I got out of the inning. One, two, three. Come on. Single for Vern, baby. Come on. Okay, all right. Dude, five Ks. Five Ks already, dude. That's crazy. Oh, man. Doinks with a two-run home run. He's insane. This is getting out of hand quick. A double for me, and we're going to strand me. Do it. Oh, I can't play. I can't jump in because I'm managing the game, huh? That sucks. All right. Well, I guess we're simming this whole one. That's super unfortunate. Little Mac Daddy. I mean, it might just be a fucking whooping. It might just be a whooping. 5-0 in the fourth. Burn! His second home run of the year. It ain't over till it's over, baby. All right. Lyric. Doink. We got doinks out. We got doinks out. Let's go. Come on, me. Pitching change. Haley's coming in. Haley's our lowest overall relief pitcher. Double play. Okay. Hey, one, two, three. Come on, Summy. Summy, you're batting a 143, brother. You're bad. Look at he's bad. Oh, he's bad. This motherfucker bad. A 143. No, oh, even worse. Oh no. Yes. Come on, Timmy. God. Are you shitting me? Damn. Damn. Games uh, not going my way. Mm. Car strikeout. I got hit by a pitch. How dare you, Coltrane? Coltrane is seven in the third with seven Ks and a double play. He's he's gonna go complete game against us. Here he goes. This is for a complete game. This is for the complete game shutout. Oh no, he gave one. That's right, the solo shot to Vern. Walk, a leadoff walk. We like that. Come on, Cohen. Okay, pitching change. 
Double play. Come on, dude. We got absolutely toasted. Dude, LA 10 to 1. 10 to 1 over Baltimore, dude. 18 hits in the win. Holy shit. This team is shredding. They got walked nine times. Austin Manning with the only home run. There wasn't even extra base hits. It was just singles. So many singles. Roja in seven innings. Seven Ks. One or Nash money came in for two innings. Dude, Baltimore getting cooked. Absolutely cooked. Two and a third for 6-7 Tango in his debut. 12 hits, six earned runs. Ouch. Ouch. And Goat Zaddy didn't pitch much better either in two innings. All right, I think we're good then. Costa Rasa in, the, in Tokyo. We're going to go. We're going to play this game. Here's the best lineup of his life. So I'm Beat the mods. Oh, got him with a slurp. First major league strikeout in his first batter face. Oh, man. Wait, was that a strike? Dougie Dash coming off a uh, two for four. A two for four game with a home run. The leadoff batter. Look at those white unis. God. Oh, deep. Going, going. Oh, it's a ground rule double for Dougie Dash to lead things. Off. Already given up a leadoff double here to the striking Vipers. Dougie's Dash safe at third on the steal. What a psycho. A leadoff double into a into stealing third? Oh my god! Nobody out and already the striking vipers with a runner 90 feet away from scoring. Here comes a pitch. And right back Right back up the middle. Krusek stops it though for the out. That motherfucker, no, he evolved deep down in the ocean. Driven into right. We got a 1-0 ball game. The striking Vipers strike first. And it's an RBI double for Buster Cherry Sr. His son, Buster Cherry Jr., had 14 strikeouts in game one against the moderators. This, this dude looks like he's going to unload. It's based off the player? Okay, yeah, that makes sense then. A walk. Krusek, rough, rough start. 24 pitches here in the first. And it's going to get through. Is that going to be able to score the run from second? Bro home? Oh, my God, what a horrible throw. <laughs> Glizzy Gladiator looking for his first hit of the GGBL with the bases loaded in the first. The mods are in a pickle here early in game two. You'd love to see it. And he strikes out looking on the sinker. Krusek with a huge strikeout. Huge. If, if this can find a hole somewhere, three runs might come across. Walked in a run with the bases loaded. We love when the mod team chokes. We love it. 40 pitches, walking in a run with the bases loaded in the first 2-0 lead already for the Vipers. <laughs> Up the middle, can they get the out? They do. Honestly, 2-0 is not bad. Not bad, all things considered. Got out of a hell of a jam. A hell of a jam. One, two pitch. Down in the dirt. Got him with a 12-6 curve. And that's going to bring up Big Daddy Dirtbag. Who had a great game one despite the mods' struggles. Oh, and it's a two-run blast. It's a tie game. Big Daddy Dirtbag! His first major league home run. And it is a 442 foot blast into the cherry blossoms here in Tokyo. 
My oh my, we got ourselves a ball game. Walked. An 11 pitch walk for Krusek Rogo. Look at her. She looks like a character out of The Witcher. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm pretty sure I've seen her in The Witcher. Could be a double play right here. This would be huge for the mods. They got it. Krusek, after giving up two runs in the first, comes in and shuts down the Vipers in the second inning. That's crazy, dude. Stelled with a ground out to the third baseman. He's 0 for 2. Ryan Kentris. It's 60 pitches. It's off of him, though. And this is going to be an infield single. What, what a toss, bro. That was kind of nice, though. So they got a runner on here with one down, and we got Frosty Moose to the plate. It's a line drive to the third baseman. He backhands it and catches it. I thought that was a ground ball. The runner goes. Save. Swipe second. Now in scoring position for Mini Magic. Inside. Hey, Mini with the inside out single. Past the second baseman, and that's going to play one. And the moderators take the lead. Mini's first hit and RBI here in game two of the season. Buster Cherry, the number 10 MLB prospect, number one shortstop prospect overall in the entire league. Oh! Went up and hit him. Uh oh, that might have been a statement by Krusek. Krusek has no idea anything about baseball. He goes, <laughs> I'm getting him to swing and shit. I'm wearing him down. He's got 76 pitches in the third. <laughs> He's not wrong, though. The punch out, the second of the game, he gets Ben Patterson swinging and junk. Oh, my God. Krusek. Krusek. Who are you? Krusek settling in. Through three K's, Glizzy Gladiator, and gets out of it. Honestly, though, I don't know if we're going to be able to watch the... Well, I know we're not going to be able to watch the remainder of this game, guys. So we're gonna. I think we're going to finish this AB. A watch Iro Bryant, and then we're going to have to sim. Oh, an absolute dot on the edge. Fourth strikeout. All right. Drives it down the line. It's going to be extra bases. Big Daddy Dirtbag. With a multi-hit game, he does it again. Ground out, strike out. We're gonna, we're gonna let this fly. We're gonna let this game fly. Dash with a single. Still 3-2 though. Solo home run for De Big Daddy Dirtbag. Glizzy hit a home run. It's a one run game. They get out of the jam. What is it? It's top nine. One run game. Pitching change. Connor Kraft's coming in. Big Daddy Dirtbag with a three home run game. He does it again. Four for four with three home runs and a double. A single, a single. Fielder's choice, runners on the corners. A double play to end the inning. So it's a two run lead for Costa Rasa against Tokyo here. Dunkino Walrisa coming in for the save. Dunkino Walrisa. Mods win. They pull it off. They pull it off. It wasn't looking good there for the mods at the start. I'm not going to lie. It was not looking good. I mean, single-handedly, we know who the player of the game is. 5-3 <clears throat> the final. The Vipers jumped out in front really quick. Smoochie ended up picking up the win. Smoochie got the win on the mound. Player of the game, 
no doubt, and he's not even in the chat right now. Big Daddy Dirtbag. Four for four, three home runs, a double, four RBIs, and three runs scored. That is our best performance thus far in the GGBL. No one's done it better. Smoochie goes uh, an inning in one in, in two-thirds innings, one hit, two strikeouts. He did give up a run. Ryan Kentris gets the loss. Four innings, four hits, four strikeouts, two walks, three earned. Dunkino Walrisa comes in, picks up the first save of the season. Dougie Dash, three for five in the loss. Wow. Wow. T Dog's not even in here. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Dude, Big Daddy Dirtbag just batting an 857. <clears throat> Everybody else on the team. Dude, I'm dying. Hello? Okay, I'm here now. I got it. We got it out, boys. He went from no home runs to three. He might be the home run leader now. He might be the home run leader now. He literally carried you guys. He literally carried you guys. The big daddy dirtbag. And he's batting eight. The disrespect to this man. The absolute disrespect. Can't believe Smoochie came in there and, and took away the dub. Smoochie Wallace, Wynn, Kev, Goten, and Willie Burns all picked up holds. And then Dunkina, Warisa with the save. Dang, man. Tough. Glizzy Gladiator picked, had that one home run. That was early too, wasn't it? I don't remember. Oh, no, that was, I, I don't know. There was so many, there was so many home runs for Big Daddy Dirtbag. I don't even remember. I think it was during the sim. And the mods win their first game of the GGBL.